So what you have trending, right, is based on what you follow nah, or just, it's trending. supposed to be trending. trending. United States. Mm -hmm. Trending. Yeah. I'm curious to see if it'll show the same for me. Pop up for it you. should. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you have been there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if. I don't know what that is either. Some of the stuff I have no idea what it's about. away from it. Because I don't get my little things at the top. Ask Meg. Maybe I should See, go there you go. go. Trending. Yeah, but it's not that. That's not what I normally... I get to do that. It's that's all the stuff that's trending right there, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. That's how they do it now. Jarvis. Right? Jarvis. Where's Jarvis? Yeah, it's a boxer, I want to say. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Is there one for, like, black Twitter? Hmm. Specifically? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, is there a way you can see what's trending on black Twitter? Like, how do you... Because people always... I see people reference black gotta, Twitter, but... I think black Twitter is like a community. Or oh, it's just people that show up. That's black. And they, they like, hey, then, black you know, We issues. got our own little shit going on. So, it's like, let's say it's... Uh, hashtag Tiffany. But all the black people know mm -hmm. what hashtag Tiffany is about. Mm -hmm. White people might not know what it's about. Right. They'd be like... What's that? Well, well, Black Twitter knows. They know what's, what's popular. Hashtag Twitter. But how do you know? I think you just got to be in the loop. In the, uh, in the mix. Yeah. Hmm. Probably follow some people that that's in Black Twitter. I yeah. guess. Yeah, I don't pretty know. much. I always wondered about that. I hear people say it and sometimes, talk about and, it. Yeah, and sometimes Black trend, Twitter makes it to mainstream. Mainstream. You know what I'm saying? Is it? Did that be a hashtag? Like hashtag Black Twitter? Or I don't it don't know. work like that. Oh, I don't know. But maybe, maybe it does. I don't know. I tend to stay in my own little lane. I'm mm -hmm. not part of Black Twitter myself. Mm -hmm. What are you a part of? Nothing. Just what I'm interested in. Oh, okay. So, so like, I didn't know if it was Kiara, groups. She's not on Twitter, but she's probably more so. Black Twitter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, You're showing up yeah. on other social media platforms. Right. Like, this was popping with Black Twitter on the, like, the, what's the joint? Shave Real Housewives. Shave Room. Shave Room. Yeah, but, you know, like, she'll go to Black Twitter. She'll go to Twitter for commentary on whatever. A show. A particular show. Okay. Oh. See, you know what I'm I've done that before. Yeah. How I've done that before for Married at First Sight. Right. So, so you go to Twitter on, on the night that it's. The, the episode is airing. So you go to Twitter like somebody I'm following about to be talking. No, no, about no. This. I go to the tr what what this what we did to Hashtag, the, the trend uh, that show. section. Oh yeah. man, I'm so old when it comes to this because I, I don't be in the loop. <laughs> I don't either, man. Uh, like, but that makes sense though. People have to send show. stuff to me in order for me to mm -hmm. like. Or it yeah. pop up in my timeline yeah, some type of way. Up, yeah. But I want to know, so I be trying. I even be TikToking now, y'all. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I I'll do. be on TikTok, but I'll be watching Pimple Poppers. Oh. Really? I'm interested You like in that? that? Did the stuff reason? come out the face or whatever? Yeah, wherever on the body, man. Yeah, you Ooh. like, oh. Watching different, all kinds of stuff coming out, don't it? Yeah, I've seen some black little liquid come out of one. Oh, Ooh. God. It was like a little... Uh, it looked like foot, like a Sunday, like a you know ice cream. Yeah, oh, you know? yeah, it was just like man, that was in your body player. I seen somebody bust something on their back, mm. and that joint had just white stuff coming out, like 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 white custard yeah. or something. It's crazy because but it was just have, a bunch of. It. If you have melanin, it'll be dark. Oh. Uh. And if you have, if you're, if you don't this have, person no, was a white person. Yeah, because the person who I was talking about with the dark shit that came out, it was dark. It was a black person. Interesting, but I don't see a lot of black. I see more white people on these pimple popper shows than the uh, black see people. That, the black people, they, they, they be having some wild shit. With everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> we here. We, all doing? we in here. We missing some people, but we here. We still hear the pimple popping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check out uh, Doctor Pimple Popper, man. It's, it's nasty, but I can't turn my my. Eyes I ain't gonna away. lie, man. You know how you be like, you watching the uh, the car crash or whatever. Yeah, I, I watched that yeah, too. I would watch like that. Like a car crash. Pimple, pimple yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I can't. Would. I I, I get 
mm, my stomach. Oh, you too squeamish. Yeah, I can't do it. Nah, I'll be over there drumming. Like, yeah, but I, I mean, it look like, nasty, but you want to see it. Like, like, <laughs> like, what's going to happen next? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Watch it, there's some more. Um. And I would go through a bunch of videos. I would like, I'd be on that drum for an hour or so. You know, I'd get oh lost in it like that. Yeah. The one I, I was talking about, I kept watching because I was like, man, I want to see how much comes out. It was just, it just kept, it's she like, was it'd squeezing. It'd be like the thing that never ends, yo. Yeah. Oh like a lamb chop song. <laughs> 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 she was That's, just squeezing and it was just oozing out. It was like a it was like a I don't know, like a tapeworm or something. But it wasn't a worm. It, it was just it was mucus. Pus or whatever it was. Just coming I just out want of y'all to back. know the cringe in my body every time you guys bring up this I'm like It's disgusting. Oh. It's disgusting, but, but I don't know why I love at the it. same time. Uh, it's weird to me, yo. Yeah. I, get I don't it. know why, yo. Uh, Gosh. Oh man, did y'all see the dude? <laughs> the dude that uh, I don't know if he was going to drop off a package or going to somebody's house, but the dog got out, mm. and so he was walking up, and he was like, "Oh snap, the dog coming!" So he ran back and ran into the street, and a car came. Wow, <laughs> it's not funny though. You got. The I, guy? <laughs> oh, hit, him. hit him! He flipped over the car. The car stopped. He on the other side of the car, still worried about the dog. He like, so ah. Funny. I mean, he, his head smacked the windshield. Oh, he on the other side of the car, like trying to get himself up, cause he all discombobulated, cause he just he got hit by a car. Right. Car was probably doing like thirty. Okay, that's and then that's came to a screeching nuts. stop once it hit him. So he pulled up on the side view mirror like, oh, <laughs> damn no! But he still jacked That's up in the funny. Game. That's awful. I, Y'all ain't like, see that joint? I, no, uh, I hate that I laugh at him describing listen, it. That's awful. When I saw it, I wasn't laughing because he got jacked up. But talking about it is funny. It's funny, yeah. yeah but it seeing it's like, oh. Know, let me tell you something. I seen somebody get hit by a car oh. in it's real not, life, and that shit was funny. It's not funny. <laughs> but nah, I'm gonna tell you why it was funny. I'm downtown DC, man. Like every when I worked downtown DC, I had like the funnest time of my life. <laughs> like I'm talking about, like especially the spring and the summertime. Mm-hmm. I'm downtown DC. I get the people watch. Right, right. I right. get to be in the mix of just everybody in the mm-hmm. Hey, we standing on the corner. I forgot the street we was on, but I think we was in front of the McDonald's downtown um off of Pennsylvania Avenue. Mm-hmm. Down that way somewhere. I think we was in front of McDonald's. With near where the Macy's is and shit down there. Mm-hmm. This dude on the bike. <sighs> now they wasn't driving fast or nothing like that. But they was at the stop point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> And I think the dude in the bin and the beam he had yeah, a uh, big body beamer. Okay. He wasn't paying oh, <laughs> pay no. attention. I'm not. And there's a dude on the bike in front of him. And he, he stopped all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so when a car hit a bike a man on a bike, the car gonna win hundred percent of the time. Every time. Right. But it was a tap. It wasn't even like <laughs> it wasn't even like a real strong but it was strong enough to like <laughs> 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 Did he fly off the bike? He fly off the bike, but he oh, failed. But he, but he, 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 he lost control. He lost control. He failed. And he was so irate and mad. Mind you, it's the middle of the summer, right? It's the middle of the summer, so niggas got their windows down and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, remember that Joe? Like, you oh. motherfucker just did it. He started cursing. Oh. The dude in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Window going up. <laughs> <laughs> and he went to the window, spit on the window. That drum was hilarious, though, man. man. That was a <laughs> that was a happy moment right there. For me, <laughs> happy. Not a happy moment. It'd be stuff like that happening. There's like, man, this this could be this could have been worse than what it was, but be, it wasn't. And I'm happy, and I'm glad that I saw yeah, this happen. Yeah, yeah, and it's so much. It's so. But it's yeah. like, man, it's kind of messed and up. That was so before, all, you know, you would think before you, and I always still be fucking up when I, I, I forget to do my. I be forgetting yeah. to be. I forget. I forget to I be, be this guy. I never remember to do that. I, I be, be so, so in much it. in the moment. Yeah, yeah. I forget yeah. so much. Yeah. 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 But I wish I was. You know, I don't even think we had camera phones back then. I it was think like it's because our generation we grew up in. We we didn't really grow up with camera phones. I think did. Yeah. So I think because this when this happened, like I wasn't even like thinking about record. I don't even think I had a device that could record. 
yeah. something back then. So yeah. that's how that's how long ago it was. Right. It's a different world now. Yeah, it is. Around. Oh my goodness. But I can still see them two white boys, man. <laughs> I can still see them today, man. Man, that dude on the bike was pissed off, man. He was cursing the dude out, man. Did he hit like the back of the bike? Hit the back of the bike. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. He hit the back tire. Dang. <laughs> you can tell he didn't mean to do it. You can tell he was sorry. <laughs> But dude was so mad. Yeah. He was like, I'm gonna listen to this. And I'm gonna listen to this. He looked the other way. He was like, man, this dude can do anything to me now. I don't want no fuss. My man rolled that window up. That shit was hilarious, man. Oh, man. What else y'all got going on this week? Um, oh, I think it's been a slow week, pretty much. I mean, yeah. the fight happened. What was that? Last weekend? Last Sunday? Oh, Floyd and uh, I always get them mixed up. Is it Jake Paul or Logan? Lola was the one that fought Nate Robinson. No, it's, not. Yeah, it's, it's the brother. It's the brother. Yeah. Yeah. He's bigger. So when I seen that dude, I was like, what, the, what is this? <laughs> so, you, so you, you, I was you born to be the other man. You, you, were, <laughs> you wanted <laughs> retribution? Yeah. 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 I was like, man, I'm like, like, damn, we cooking something here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, well, hold on, he look way bigger than than the other one. But I knew he had a brother. But I was. I didn't think the brother was was uh, was in the mix to be boxing like yeah, that. Yeah, both of them are. Both of, both of them. I, at first, I thought it was too. I thought I, it was the one that fought Nate, and then I saw him, and I was like, "Hold on, that's not him." Yeah, yeah, I realized because he ain't got the beard. So you did watch it though? Yeah, I watched it on my phone though. I ain't watched that. Oh, track. I then my man it. sent me the link, and it was it was uh, real distorted. For oh, okay. I mean, it wasn't work at first, and then for some reason, got it cracked right before the fight. It, Oh, it cut on. Oh, okay. It started working. From I, the, I saw the whole jump. From the, you know, highlights, it looked pretty boring. It was very boring. Oh, They okay. did a lot of hugging and... Um, pretty boring. You know, man, they so in, the world. So in that regard, is like Mayweather a loser no. in a way? Let me, let me ask you, let me tell you why I asked that. Because if you're a professional in something, right, mm -hmm. and you like the best in something, Mm -hmm. And then some amateur comes up and is like, I'm going to do it too. Mm -hmm. And then they, you don't break, beat the brakes off of them or embarrass them terribly. Aren't you kind of the loser? Well, a dude way bigger than him too, first of all. Yeah, he, he probably a heavyweight fighter. Yeah. He's so a light heavyweight at the, at the But period. still, he's not professionally trained, though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he, oh. It's hard. It's hard to... Uh, dude got longer reach. He's stronger than him. So it, it's just like, you know... Me and you don't box, but if I lean all my weight on you, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be like, damn, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's so, actually more of a testament to Floyd that he was able to do what he did to yeah. him because he's so much smaller. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And I'm not a box aficionado. I don't know. Oh. I just, in my logic, I was trying to think that, but I guess there's other factors that Decide whether yeah, it actually yeah. makes but sense dude, or not. But dude, be training though. Yeah, he, yeah no, no. He, I know, like he's just a regular guy off yeah, the street. Yeah. He is though, in a sense that in the in the sense of the boxing world. Yes, that's yeah. what I mean. He is. He just he a YouTube no, in a person. professional in a professional exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah, he yeah just, but what I'm saying is, it ain't like he just somebody that just woke up and was like, "I'm gonna fight Floyd today." And I know it wasn't like that. I mean, yeah. he trained for it. I'm not he, saying that. But he, he been training before this though. He been training before this is what I'm saying. But I'm saying like he didn't put he hasn't put as many years. And no. stuff into it as somebody who's probably more deserving. But that's just the day and oh. age that we're in now. Yeah. Because you see people becoming celebrities overnight oh, oh, okay. without having to put in. I mean, they get movie deals now, you know, oh, without true. having to put in the work, the work that's in. True. And you know, it was a money grab for for both of them. You so. think that's a uh, you think that's a bad thing that people get get on like that? I mean, it's good and it's bad, man. Because the bad part is it makes other people want to do the same thing. You know what I mean? So they're willing to do stupid stuff on camera and Them. be in the mix to, so, just so they can get a slice of that pie, mm -hmm. so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, eventually something bad could come about it for somebody in particular or for a generation of people <coughs> trying to do the same thing. But, you know, if that's how you come up, man. You know, congratulations to you, man. You know what I think about when, when I was talking about all this? Mm -hmm. Remember when, um, like, the, the actors was uh, some actors was like all up in arms because people like LL Cool J was getting in the acting scene and they was like, Initially. Man, he ain't mm -hmm. he a rapper. He ain't even 
He ain't put in what, what right. we put I went into to this. For this. I, yeah. I studied at Hamlet in Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could kind of say that uh, cats like um, LL. <laughs> you could kind of say he opened the door for them. What's my motivation? Right. <laughs> I studied at Cambridge. <laughs> I get it though. Yeah. I, I could understand that. I could literally understand that. if you put your time and effort into studying a craft and someone just kind of comes in and kind of just does it without but it's, it's, putting all the effort in. It, it could be, it could be, you can, know, proceed. Can you step out of the camera, sir? It's crazy because um, I don't know why the rappers actually be really good actors a lot of times. Who? Cause Cause they name Because they be actors in their craft. Yeah. In the rap I mean, world, yeah. they performing there. Yeah. Oh, that's probably true too. But who yeah. you say? Who Beyonce you know? Beyonce wasn't one. She's no. horrible, and I love well, Beyonce. L. Cool J is one who's L. wasn't bad. L. L. Was he had them one liners though. I'm about to say he always had them one liners. He'd be that talking about tell daddy how you want it. You'd be like, really? Who wrote that? Come on, man. Why they set you? Well, he got one of them every movie he in. Yes, he does. But outside of that, L. L. wasn't a bad actor. Yeah, Will Smith too. He's another one. That was a rapper. Oh, okay. I mean, he 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 ain't turned back. When you nah, think about it, yeah, he nah. never went back. He though. hit the ground running. Well, I mean, did. no, he did. He did. What yeah, about yeah, what yeah, about Ice T? Y'all feel like Ice T was pretty good at what he did too. Somebody like, went on him recently. Ice T played himself. I feel like he was a better actor than rapper, rapper personally, because I didn't listen to his music yeah. like that. But you know, he was very big as a. Uh, as a rapper too in the beginning of his career. He was groundbreaking. Kinda. Yeah. He was like a pioneer. But Ice sense. Cube is another one too. Oh, Ice Cube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ice Cube. Speaking of the Isis. Um Ice Cube. He's all right. yeah, good rapper. Snakes I mean, out there this big? He don't I mean, he don't <laughs> going out there? Snakes out there. For for he he, he not funny, but he's played in iconically funny movies. Ice Cube? And, yeah, and has held his own. And it was not being funny, but not taken away from, you know, the actual scene, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Ice Cube. Somebody went on Ice Tea recently, what I was trying to say. I think it was so Before I was interrupted by out, out, outside people, yeah. my children. How did we get here? Yeah. Um, they went on him recently talking about, you know, because he's been on Law and Order for like, shit, 15 years or something like Long that. Last time. Yes. Yeah, so somebody so, like it. Right. And so um, they were like, is Ice Tea always this bad? And they, they like tweeted that, like, is Ice-T always this bad in, in SVU? And he was like, something about his the person's mama or something. He responded to the I tweet. old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask your mama about it. Yeah, What's type up? thing. Mm -hmm. But he's not bad in the show. I, you know. He, he wasn't bad in um, New Jack City or any of the jobs. No, nope, he wasn't bad. bad in New Jack City. Yeah. But I he was I also playing, watching. like, a lot, of these act, a lot of those rappers be playing people similar to themselves, like Ludacris. Like, when you see him in... He wasn't bad in Law & Order. I saw him on there Ludacris recently. Law and yep. He played, he was, um, he was Ice-T's nephew. Oh, okay. He was ice it, it was a, long, a while ago. Right, it was right. earlier. He's kind of like a character, though. Yeah, he just be... I feel like he was just being himself in yeah. whatever he play in. Yeah, he's you know? a character. I mean... Yeah, I mean, he ain't animated like he is on his music, but right, right. he just, you He know. probably want to be, though. I think he just want to be. What you doing? <laughs> I think he one of them guys. He's dropping fast. Like, <laughs> really fast. <laughs> <laughs> you like the down south Bustin' Rhymes, man. Yeah, that's exactly who he is. The Bustin' Rhymes act? He probably tried. He, he did, did a couple of joints. He, he did, did a um, shaft joint. joint. Oh, yeah, 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 That's the only one I can think of on top but of my Method head. Method Man is another one. That's a Method good Man is Method Man is awesome. And Red He's Man was pretty good. good when they both did How How. That was a... They did a good job with How How. They did. But they kind of animated too, though. Yeah, but Tupac is another one. No, I feel Tupac like was pretty good. Method Man, I feel like he actually is committing to his roles other than just Method Man. Like, you know, he's playing yeah, like a Tupac lawyer. Tupac don't count because Tupac was trained. He yeah, really he was. was. He was yeah, the art. Yeah. Yeah. He was already a damn. Yeah, yeah you know, that's act. true. So he don't he, count. He went I'll to Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was at the Baltimore School of the Arts. Yeah. DMX? 
DMX was a pretty good actor too. Did he do that? DMX, I can't remember. DMX he played was the solid. Same role. He played the same dude. And Belly he did, but it was solid. He was good um, at it. Yeah. Who was the other one? The one with the uh, it was Cradle to the Grave, and it was another one. Uh, Romeo Must Die. Yeah, oh. all of them. No, it was another one too. Yeah, Romeo it was Romeo Must Die. Die. He was in Romeo Must Die. Yeah, yeah. well, Leah. Yeah, remember that's why they did the movie together. To me to make it back right, I thought that was her and Jet, yeah, Jet Li. And the Amex. And that song was no, so No, um, Anthony Anderson was in that job. And Anthony Anderson was called in Jet Li. Right, song. I don't remember. I don't remember DMX being in that one yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DMX was in that job. Are you sure? And um, doing in that job? and um, the big tall Jordan. LeBron James' father. Oh yeah, yeah Delver. Right, that's hey, what I'm saying. DMX, DMX, DMX was not in there. I didn't. Did, did you know, know that? he British? I did not know Delroy? he was British. Yeah. Delroy did Lindo. not know that. Yeah, that nigga British man. Dang. I don't think DMX is in Romeo man. Must Die. Really? Yeah, British dude man. Yeah, DMX was in Romeo Must Die. I thought he's from like. But I can't remember what he was doing in that joint though. Now. Yeah. Can't what, what, his what, because everybody. I know rolled. he was in it, but I remember everybody, everybody else rolled but his. He, they said he was silk. He was a little gangster in that joint. I know he was a gangster, but what was his? At the nightclub. He was at the nightclub. Oh man, I don't remember. I can't remember. I, can't I, can't I was just I, letting I you know what it say on you know when I because he wasn't it. with um Anthony Anderson on them. No, nah, he wasn't. That was a whole different crew. He wasn't. When it, Del Rolando was her father. Yeah, he was a cop. No, no, he no. was a really wealthy man. He was man. like a yeah, and his, and his, his son got killed. Yes, so the, the, the son son somebody Jelly was charged to uh, take care of Aaliyah mm-hmm. to protect Aaliyah. Like but who? no, no, no. He was, he was, cause his. Okay, so the beef was between like Del Lindor. What is his name? Del Roy. Del Roy. Lindo. His his family, right? They were like a little mafia, right. and then the Koreans, and that's how oh, um, yeah. Jet Li came over because they Korean, be, but Chinese, Asian, sorry, Asian. Asian. Whatever the, faction that is. But right, they came up. Remember the 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 brother got killed. It started like right, a little right, mini war. Right, 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 right. He the, got thrown out the window. Ye- yes. Yeah. And then so that's when Jet Li came over, and he ended but up. What was Jet Li? Was he a cop or something? From so over there, was, maybe. Oh, maybe so. Yeah. From over there. Well, maybe like that's from, Jackie Chan movie. What you talking about? Okay. Jet, it's not Jet Li. It's J- Jackie Chan. No, no, no. You talking no, about Jet Li Rush was in? No. <laughs> he was I'm a cop from over there. Jet Li was in Romeo Must Die. No, nah, he was. Right. Uh, was he a cop? I don't oh, know. He was a cop. Yeah, I think this is what she's talking about. No, 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 no. He was some type was of something, something over because why did they bring him? Or maybe it was his brother. That's what it was. His brother. The dude that died was his brother. Oh, the Asian guy. Yes, because so he was his, trying to figure out who because killed his him. father was behind the whole thing at the end, or the or the or the muscle man, or something at the end. He figured I out. I can't remember who the hell. I, 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 I can't movie. help y'all at all. Okay, I'm I'm just watch movie I think movie, it was man. like his father or somebody. This is probably gonna be so stupid when I try to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it happened. It was a while ago. But yeah, Cradle to the Grave, Romeo Must Die. Yeah. There's another one though. There is one more because he did it with um. Was that Steven Seagal? Did he, he give? Did, that oh. was Cradle to the Grave. Steven oh okay, Grave. okay. There's another one though. There's another one. There was another movie. Other than uh, other than Belly, right? Well, yeah, we know other than oh, yeah, Belly. Belly was other, good too. Other than Belly, it was a, it was another Cradle to the Grave type movie. Right, that's what I'm saying. There was something. And else. then he had the one joint that he produced himself. That uh, what's the boy name? Not Freddie Prince Jr. One of them dudes was in, and it was it was kind of right. like a like he died in the joint or something, but he was like a ghost or something. I don't know that. Never die alone. Never die alone. That's the joint I'm talking about right there. But exit another, wound. Exit, exit wound. I told you that was with Steven Seagal. I told wound. you. Well, what the hell was crazy the grave then? Yeah, that was with Jet Li. Jet Li. Oh, was he did another joint with grave. Jet Li. On, on the um. He did two joints with Jet Li. Mm-hmm. Okay. Huh. That's yeah. kind of smart on, on whoever's behalf. Yeah. Put, the, put the rapper up with the uh, karate guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Wow. Shout out to DMX, man. Yeah. yeah sure. He was able to cross over to the acting realm. But yeah, he I, I think about his own, it. Man. Yeah, he did good. I mean, he was playing his, you know. He wasn't playing South. himself, but he was, he was playing. He wasn't uh, outside person. of his realm. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. like it was a romantic comedy that he was doing. People be beefing with that. I think that's what you're supposed to do. No, I don't as think as an so. actor. I don't agree, but okay, I see what you're saying. I think you're supposed to be like, All right, I'm gonna make this. If joint. you're not trained, yeah, exactly. Uh, if you are trained, you're supposed to be able to do whatever. Yeah. So right yeah. now, who's y'all like favorite actor, actress, actor? 
I don't think I got one. You don't have one? It's like someone that you see and you're like, you know what? I like them in pretty much everything I see them in. I like the key. I think he good. Oh, Lakeith? Yeah, Keith Stanfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Who you think that's I don't know. He was, he was like, <laughs> what? Like, what? You said, I thought you said the key. I was like, I was like, who is that? Uh, yeah, I, I like, I like, he pretty good at stuff he in. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He be in, but he so eclectic, he do. He definitely weird. Like, it's a, like it's certain guys, like, for albums, if they drop an album, I'm going to be like, I'm going to listen to it just because it's him. Mm-hmm. It's nobody... That's like if he drop a movie, I'm gonna check it out. There's nobody like that for you. Not right now. Okay. It used to be um it used to be like funny people like, you know, Chris Tucker when I was younger. <clears throat> okay. Like I was always gonna check out Martin. Chris Martin, yeah. Yeah, that was You know what I'm saying? A, but there's nobody it's nobody like that now. Just off the strength, point. you would yeah. never do that. That's I mean, even point. at one point Denzel, but then I still I got I started to get tired of Denzel's Den- types of movies. Denzel, okay. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when he did the little Joan in the backyard with the fences. I mean, you know. Oh, you did you watch that? I never saw it. Before. No, in I didn't watch it. Backyard with the fences. It's called Fences. Oh, yeah. I didn't watch that. Right? Isn't it called yeah, fences? that's what it's called. Fences. Yeah. Yeah, I, didn't I was watch just like, that. man, he be doing too much, like stuff like that. Like when they do their little own little, I'm gonna do a piece that. Uh, Eddie Murphy was a guy who I was always going to check out a movie, but when they get they when they start doing their passion pieces. It's like, ah. I'd be like, man, I don't no, know. Mr. I'm not here uh, for this. Mr. Yeah. Hill was good. Mr. Mr. Hill? No, Mr. Mr. Church. Mr. Church. Mr. Church, well, Mr. Mr. Church wasn't I bad. That I heard it was good, though. It's not bad. It was pretty good. I ain't watched it. It was a journey. serious movie, but it was pretty good. I feel like there's somebody I'm not thinking of. I like directors, though. Okay, like, the, what, who? Oh, I like Jordan Peele. I like Joe. Like, yeah, yeah. For instance, if Joe Peele, <coughs> if Joe, whatever Joe Peele come up with, you like, I mean, he's two for two for me, though. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So, if the next Joe is some garbage, I might be a little bit, <laughs> you know, iffy with the Joe. He's fifty percent right now for you. He's two for two. two. Yeah. Oh, he, he's one hundred percent. Okay, yeah, I thought you yeah. were saying two and if he if yeah. he um. Come up with some dumb shit though. No, I might have to reconsider. Yeah, yeah. I might have to be like, no, I mean, man, he, he just he, drops his average a little bit. You know, he seemed like he, most of his stuff is thought provoking at the very yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's why I like. His, I like that's that. why I like yeah. his movies. Yeah. I like the dude that we was talking about the other day too, the white boy. Uh, oh, Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Guy Ritchie. I yeah, tried I like to get you to watch his movie. Yeah, you, you kept seeing that. that you keep saying that. Tell a Guy good story. Ritchie. It really does. I don't know who Guy Ritchie is. Backwards though. You say but it, not backwards. It, it is backwards. It is backwards. It's tight though. It's tight. You say it to me like I thought I don't y'all have. watched it together, man. No, I watched it. Oh, Cause no. I was she, I was like, you try to watch Gentleman? She was like, yeah, la la la. I was like, all right. I'm trying to tell y'all, watch Gentleman. It's a good ass movie. I like, I like Gabrielle Dennis. Who's that? She not a prime time player. So though. what? You see, that's what's wrong with you people. Y'all don't give. You know, they gotta be the is man. She, is she white? I like no. her. No, I like her. I like Gabrielle Dennis. Too. I like her and everything. I've I like seen her because she's not stereotypical. <laughs> Yeah, she's always played something different every time I saw her. Damn, I don't know who she is at all. Don't do that. You know yeah. her. From the Old Spice commercials with uh, Dionne Cole. She's done. She played Whitney in the Bobby and Whitney story. She oh, sure she did. She was Whitney. Derwin's baby mama on the game. Okay, I remember her from the game probably. Mm-hmm. That's it, really. And she's on the Upshaws now. I don't know what the that's other show is. And she's done oh, a lot of... Like, that's on um, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. I gotta check that joint. Yeah, check it out. It's not bad. Um, I'll check it out when you check out Gentlemen. All right, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Like and the it. next time we meet, I you like better it. have watched it because <laughs> now I feel challenged and I gotta watch Gentlemen. I like it. Who is a primetime player that you like? <sighs> that I'm like, every time I see him, I'm like, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of a female actress. Or yeah, actress, you know? give me a female. I, um, I honestly, I don't know. There's no guy actor that I'm like, yes, other than Lakeith. Oh, you like? Lakeith? I, yeah, I've been a fan of. What his. about Angela Bassett? I like the stuff she do. Like, she kind of leg- legacy now to yeah. me. I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I really like her like that. I mean, she cool and I respect it and I watch stuff she does, but I don't really. Eh. She she in that legacy category. Not that they on the same level, but all of them people like her. Oh, I know. <laughs> Who is the guy? Do you follow him? And you oh. keep, I love him. Whoever oh, he what's is. What's my man name from the movie? I don't know. Jeffrey Wright. 
I, yeah. You know who you he is. Did. Oh, he, he was from Boardwalk Empire. He was, he was, he was the uh, fake me out. Um, that book T. Washington. Uh, what's the dude? Marcus Garvey follower type Bama. They ended up setting up old boy at the end. Ended up setting up. Uh, what's my man from the wire? Uh, uh. What's his name? Omar. Omar. He ended up setting up Omar from the wire at the end of the boardwalk joint. His name is something else. I don't remember the end of the boardwalk. Oh, that nigga. Yes. He played Martin Martin Luther King in a movie. He did. Why? (laughs) I don't know why he played him. I'm not sure, but I'm I I like him. He's a good actor. Yeah, he's from here too. Right. For real? He's from DC. Did not know that. Did not know that. But yeah, I like him and whatever he's in. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. You follow him. And you kid him. And you kid I didn't. I no, thought he was. I dude, did. This man <laughs> cat from that now, girl. You know who I do? You know, now you know who I respect I a lot? And he's a legacy dude too. Uh, Mr. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker is solid. Yeah, he Forrest was, Whitaker is solid. If he is with something, the, if he <laughs> why you wicking? Why you wicking it? <laughs> My man was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, come on, say it. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Where you think you going? Nigga said, who? Now, Forrest Whitaker solid. Nah, he, I mean, even when he did the little African dude, what's his name? Uh, yep. Idi Amin, whatever. Like, yep. He was mm-hmm. solid. And then the white boy that be in his movies be solid, Oh, too. he good. James McAvoy. I don't know his name, but yeah, he good. Dude that played The Beast. The Beast. From the Glassman joint. That was an amazing movie, man. I was like, damn. From the M. Night Shyamalan joints. M- okay. Okay, yeah, I do know him. He's pretty good, too. He's a real good actor. He gets good. If he is something, if he is something, I'm probably mess with him. I'll Sammy probably check L's it out, another too. another dude that I, I read what it's about. Before, First. yeah. Well, that's because you don't turn nothing down. You don't turn nothing down. They don't say no to that. You gotta, you gotta look at that. And Don Cheeto will never do too. I, I do. I I'm a fan of his. He, he don't. I like Don Cheeto. Yeah, you don't. I don't Every like all the movies Don. that he. Do you like do. Black Black Monday? That's a good show. I ain't check that joint out yet. Check it out. I saw the trailer and I was like. Nah, it's good. It's a good show. Oh, though. okay. It's good, and it got a lot of comedy in it too. Oh, okay. So Don Cheadle solid though. He it's did a some comedy. action. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. He did some action. I don't know about him in action. He did good in action. I don't know about he him. Did, uh, he did his thing in Trader. He got a big Trader. ass nose, man, to be out here trying to. Uh, no, he did be good. Into some action type. He shit. did really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He did really good. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> no, I be mean, like this. Free. Oh, oh, that's messed up. That's cold, man. It sure is. But he working out with that nose, man. Yeah, he do. <laughs> you know what I mean, all things considered, yeah, man. He, you get busy. He's he, he, he doing his thing, man. I took your hat off too, man. Like he got this crap, but I don't want to see him in no action. No, no, he do this. Be looking at his nose. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like your nose gonna leave it open? That's fucked up. It is. And you it's should feel up. bad about it. I feel bad. That dude's a millionaire, man. You know. Exactly. You know what J. Cool say? What do you say? He said something about laughing at millionaires and you oh, ain't want some shit like yeah, that. Oh, yeah. oh. Either wow. way, you look dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a rhyme, but it's so on the <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's I see I put him in that category, not necessarily legacy, but it's like you know they're gonna be solid. Yeah. Him, like Matt Damon, them type of guys, you yeah. know they're gonna do movies that it may not be a hit, but it's like, all right, they solid. You know, the acting is going to be there. The movie could probably, it might be stupid. It might not be, but, you know, at this point in their career, it's like, you know, it's going to be at least a C plus, B minus. Oh, like Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, those type of people. Yeah, yeah. all of them. Yeah, even like, oh, you know, Morgan like, Freeman. Band was how they used to mess with uh, all the bands that was together in old school. They used to make. Will Ferrell. Oh, yeah, they used yeah, to make movies them. a lot, and all of they would always end up in the same movie yeah. some type of way. Yeah, they all well off, man. Yeah, so they don't even care no more. Yeah, but, like if they was making movies, 
Miss Vaughn. Miss Vaughn. If he made a jump, the he, brothers, the Owen brothers. Yeah, the Owen brothers. Owen Wilson, uh, and, and even Wilson the dude brothers. that uh, Will Ferrell did the movie with, with uh, Fast, the, you know the. Uh, oh yeah, John C. Riley. Yeah, that nigga funny man. Yeah, he don't. He don't you know what's wild? He didn't start off as a funny guy. He did. No, you he know what he was in? He looked funny. He was in um. The joint with Tom Cruise and the race cars, Days of Thunder. Oh, he was a crew member. Okay, yeah, he on that like, joint, he looked look like a crew member type mm-hmm. of dude. Though. He looked like he'd be up in that joint. He went from crew the... member to the driver. Yeah, he, he looked like he'd uh, fix some cars up or some shit. He ain't say much. He was just in that joint. Ha ha ha. You know, you know. But then that next thing you know, he popped up and it was like, oh man, he kind of funny. Hmm. He hilarious to me. I, I love that shit, man. People talk about um, the, what is it? Walk hard. Yeah, that was pretty funny too. I never seen that joke. That was pretty funny, you know. But People say that's like one of his better works. Walk Hard was good. It was it was funny. I, I wouldn't say it was a good movie to me. Okay. But um Step of course Step was Brothers was That was oh my god. I mean and, with yeah. the, the, and Talladega Nights. And Talladega Nights, nice. that's the name of the movie. Yeah, Talladega Nights. The way them two Bamas did them. Oh drums. my god. Yeah. yeah. So whenever they had some shit going on, yeah. it was like, so okay. that's why Okay. I don't have nobody no more because People would be slowing up with their work now. So they'd be like, man. Yeah. Well, maybe because know. the people that train, kind of, like the people that was going out there, stuff ain't in the mix no more. Uh-huh. Now it's like, it's a new thing now. Like, it's like internet sensations that's getting that's all right. the jobs and stuff now. But so it's weird, man. And, it's people from, and people from across the pond. Oh, and definitely them. Yeah. Because if you was a fan of um, any one of them two dudes, it's three of them. It's the it's the Daniel Kaluglu. Uh, Dan, I yeah. told you he was a slave bamber too. Oh, I forgot him. about him. Ch- he another Ch- bamber. Ch- Ch- bad though. No, but Ch- he had another bamber from across the pond. He is. Ch- but Ch- I don't put him in the same boat with Daniel yeah. Kaluglu. Yeah, 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 I feel you. And, and uh, uh, the dude that was in Star Wars. Him. Oh, that bamber. Him. And it's rep- another one too. Over too. Yeah. They all rep by the same people. Yep. The same agency or whatever. There's another one. Um, I can see his face. I don't know his name. Not the dude from So Far. Somebody else. No, nah, not the dude from Snowfall. Not him. It's another dude. Oh, okay. Uh, it's Daniel. Hey, you, together, you, hey, you know what's the funniest the thing people? I saw this week, though, with the guy from Snowfall? He was with Diddy at like a... That was weird, wasn't it? It was so weird. I oh, thought... Right. He and he was like, with Man Boy, too. Man Boy, right. Yeah, he said he some was shit like, to Man Boy. Was he like, was like, I want this pretty nigga right here. Who said this? Diddy. He was like, I want this pretty nigga right here. He put the cap camera on. Did he didn't Snow, He was like, Snow, Snowfall, dude. He said something to Man Boy. Yeah. He was like, man, I should have patted him down because yeah, he, uh, he, 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 he had been believing he was really about that life yeah. or something like yeah. that. Diddy was saying this. Yeah. yeah. And Man Boy is another one of them internet sensation battles. Yeah, he is. He came from Vine. Vine, that type of yeah. Shit. He died horribly. Like, he didn't do a good job Horrible dying. dying. But other but, than that, he was pretty yeah, solid yeah, to he me. He did a pretty good job. He did a horrible but you know he's done other little like he did an indie movie. I thought he was really good and he played like a basketball star. It was yeah, all I saw right. that joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. It was pretty good. Netflix, I, I, right? Yeah, I thought. No, he, he, he not a bad actor. No, I he thought not. he did pretty Even good. Even the other Batman not bad. Uh, what's his name? The, the, this real famous. Um, damn. In the same show? No, he, um, just, yeah. he came up with them. Um, oh. What's his name? Uh, Batch. Batch. King Batch. Yeah. Is he good for real? What nah, he's not bad. He's not bad as an actor. Yeah. I saw the only thing I saw him in was Sneakerheads, the joint on okay, Netflix. That's, that's another joint that he was in where uh, he was in the joint with Mike Epps. Um, I think Mike Epps was his dad, and um, him and Terry Crews were brothers. Mike Epps and Terry Crews were brothers. Oh, I ain't seen I don't that. know how that shit worked out, but yeah. Terry Crews was uh, King Batch's uncle, and Mike Epps and Terry Crews, they. They robbed a bank or something, and they hid the money in some type of house. That house turned out to be a frat house, so King Batch went to go get the money because mm. Mike Epps was still in jail. Mm. So was the brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the brother ended up getting out, and he was trying to, you know, he was trying to get the money too. Uh, so, so uh, King Batch had to join the fraternity, act like he was in the fraternity to get. So the it was money. pretty. It was a pretty good movie. Yo. No, he not. It, yeah. I, I, I was pleasantly surprised when I saw him acting. I was like, oh, he's not bad. And even the band who played Bobby Brown was pretty good. No, he's awesome. Yeah. I do like him. No, he ain't bad either. Yeah. No, I like he him. He's either. pretty good because he's in the new power, the new one, yeah, yeah, the yeah, new yeah, joint. Yeah, yeah. And he's doing good, pretty good on that one, too. I saw like a little... Oh, I have somebody who sucks. Oh. T.I. He sucks. Oh, yeah. I mean... He wasn't bad he's not, come, though. He's not bad, just his accent. He don't know how to get rid of it. 
He I think it's impossible for him to get rid of it. He just do the most sometimes. Because he's still, he's, no, he's himself in everything that he plays. That's what yes. I said. He sucks And this to is me. like. He wasn't bad in Takers. I take. No, nah, he wasn't bad in Takers, but. He wasn't. He still talk like. But he still sound like T.I. He still sound if like If he could T. just act, he wouldn't be bad. But he, you know, move sucker. I put two holes, two holes in your head like a bowling ball. Yeah, yeah, it's like a smooth then, partner. Yeah, I was gonna give me a chance. <laughs> what? What's smooth then, partner? Thought so. <laughs> yeah, if they, if somebody would just tell him, like, look, man, you can't be Ti. You can't be. You can't from be from the south. Bankhead. Okay. Be from London. <laughs> oh, you're from London. <laughs> That's what he need. Yeah, he need. He need that type of coach. He need vocal coaching. Or something. Yeah, yeah he needs right. a dialect coach. Dialect, dialect coach. coach. That's, yeah, what, that's what he need. Yeah. That's what he need. Mm. Who else? You got some rappers. I don't know. That just came to me. I thought about it. I was like, I didn't get to say who I thought sucked. And he's one for me. A rapper. Beyonce who, sucked. Oh, yeah, Beyonce did. Let's not so, dwell on she's it. She's so good she at does everything, everything else. Everything else. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's she, like, but well, I think she knows it. Like, she has an... Even like I didn't watch the live action Lion King, but I heard she was horrible in that. How she do you, have been how there. are you horrible as a voiceover? But she was horrible in that too. Poor I don't think thing. she knows it because if you know you suck at something, at some point you could be like, ah, nah. she don't do. It's not like I'm pretty sure she's offered a lot more movie roles than she actually goes to go. That's true. This That's what I'm saying. She must know. She want she want to do it. She just not good. She at not it. good at it. It's okay. You're good at so many other things. You know who's not bad? So crazy is. A real so performer, yeah. And when she, she get on the stage, she be making all the proper, proper facial expressions in the that's video. When she talk, but it's then her, when her she voice. Talking, so she, yeah, she it's her talking. voice. Yeah. That's why I if it's not, don't let her talk. If it's not a song, it just it don't work. Just sing. That's out. it. Yeah. They don't really. They, she don't do no whole lot of interviews either. Think about that. Her representation, no, like. You ain't the best talking person. It's that might okay. Be, that might be strategic. You can it's sing, okay. It's okay. Other than that, it's okay. It's okay. But no, I was going to say most deaf ain't bad. Most oh, deaf is a pretty good actor. He's pretty darn good. He shocked good. me. I didn't yeah, think he was going to be good. He is pretty darn good. He did that when good. he was the uh, assistant to the uh, brain surgeon and on HBO. It was an HBO movie, man. He, I didn't see that. It was a while ago. It was like early 2000s. He did a real good job <clears> in that film. <throat> he did that. He did one where he was a little bit slow. Slow. Was that 16 Blocks? I think so. I that he was oh, good that's the joint with Bruce Willis? And um, Denzel was in that too, right? 16 block? No. Nah. No. Was he in that show? Nah, I don't know why I thought nah, that. Denzel. But what yeah, was he? he was in that. And then he was in Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar. He was pretty good at that. I he don't was a wingman. Brown Sugar movie. He was Tay Diggs wingman. He was a cabbie. He was the rapper. Okay. Ah, oh, I remember oh, that. Sure was. Yeah. He was the nigga who signed. Yep. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, 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 that. Yep, that was him. Damn, yeah, we ain't really got no And he like, had to hit on Queen Latifah. He did good, too. Oh, yeah, he should He had be. to hit on her. Oh, Com- what about Common? Man, I don't really like Common He, he hates I don't Simon. really like him either, because I'd be blown. What, I be what, blown. what, what about he him? The way, but die, and then die. he be gazing yeah. at people. He get that, yeah. little, that little sick look in his eye where he be like, so we going to go to the store? He do got that gauge too. And you be like, what is, what's happening right now? You're about to kill a nigga, man. Yeah. You're talking to Queen of Tifa now, bro. Maybe we are supposed to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> be like, what is going on here, Colin? Are you acting or what's happening? You upset? But he get the eye candy factor. So that's why he keep getting jobs. He's not bad looking. He's not gorgeous. He's just nah, not some women hard think he on eyes. Yeah, some women do think he's gorgeous. But I guess oh. you can say that about anybody. Yeah, that's true. The someone, beauty some, in this. Somebody think I'm gorgeous her. somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's not here tonight, but I'm pretty, you know. <laughs> she's definitely not here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not here tonight, but you got your person by. You gorgeous. I'm sorry, y'all. We forgot 50 Cent. He uh, sucks. We forgot 50 Cent. 50 Cent. And actually, nah. Mark Wahlberg was a oh, rapper, Mark, too. Yeah. He was. And, a little, and a RZA. And, uh, RZA got better. RZA, RZA, RZA was actually bad. A pretty good He was in that one too. movie I oh, liked yeah. with hey, Jennifer Spoon Anderson. Movies. What was that movie? Jennifer Anderson. Yeah. Oh, and Donald Glover. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't well, count him, him though, because he yeah. started as a yeah. right else. He a beast. He could rap, sing, and act. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never seen nobody would do all those things. So... No, what was that? What was that movie Rizzo was in with Jennifer Aniston and Clive Owen? Mm. Remember, I think that was Clive Owen. Maybe it wasn't Clive Owen. 
when um, where she was like, it was like she set him up. The Clive Owen was like a married man. Oh, he would drive the train in to, to work. Sit, right. That and was Jennifer she, Aniston. Yes. I don't remember that being her, but okay. Yeah, Clive Owen. I know what you're talking about. Cause he Clive Owen went to the RZA for right, help. For help. Cause RZA was like he worked in the office, but he knew like oh he from the streets, or so he figured yeah because he, he black. Help me. Yeah, he can help me because he's from me. the streets. He, right, right, right. I don't know what that. I think is. that's Clive Owen. Maybe. Yeah, that's Clive Owen. That's okay. Him. Oh, oh yeah, I, that's Clive Owen. I do like him as an actor. Clive, Clive Owen. Owen. Yeah, oh, Clive, Clive Owen. No, he do. Like, he he, if he in a movie, I might check it out. Too. Yeah, yeah. I, but I don't like know his Clive name, Owen. so I gotta see the I gotta see the preview first. Right. But uh, one last person, you know, who did a really good job in his acting debut? Who? Kendrick Lamar. And what? Oh, and power. And power. I wanted to see more. I was like, man. I, oh, he's talking. I about hope like, he's gonna act more. What? Yeah. Are you talking about when he played like a crackhead or something? He played some type of head, but he was something was wrong. Yeah, with him. Now, he did real yeah, good on that. He joint. did an amazing job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. You believed him? I believed him. He was his head was in space. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I can see that right there. Man, I knew some cats like that too. Mm. That was. It, he he! It was believable. I was downtown today. I seen I seen you I, saw him. I seen several of them <laughs> downtown. Well, on Georgia Avenue. Oh, it's sad, man. Yeah. Speaking of space, right? You know what I'm saying? Spaced out. On another note, are y'all interested in going to space? No. At all? Not really. Let's see what the hype is all about. Nah. I I, I, I let it come down here to know. show me. But yeah, nah, I'm not. I don't, I don't really. Nah, I'm oh, good okay. on space. Yeah, I don't. Uh, well, space is not a real thing. I mean, it's the sky. Go deeper. But you know, you can't really get out of this realm that we. Yeah, I, I find it hard to believe that we've ever been anywhere. We haven't. Um, really? I, I find it really hard to believe that we have. I don't believe. You know. You don't think we went to the moon? No, I don't. I don't think so. I know we didn't go to the moon. I don't. I don't. I don't believe it. Hmm. I mean, you know, conspiracy theory, you know. 2017. Got your tinfoil hat on tonight, yep. sister. <laughs> I just don't believe it. I don't believe it. 2017, NASA was like, we don't currently have the technology to get to the moon. Man. They so, said it out there. And mouth. that's what I'm saying. And right now, and we're they, supposed to be it, so technological and they had it in advanced right now. And then you had, yes, you had, had it in 1969. Then, and it, it could went be, four times. Well, they so couldn't then. even show it and in color, could, could they? No. I don't know. <laughs> they, I think they, they did show it in color. It wasn't in color. But the, wind, the, uh, the, um, the flag was blown, I want to say. Oh, yeah. It was just a bunch of weird shit that was just like. In the picture that was like. And the dude, really? um, the dude who. Um, it ain't no, no, no air up here. The guy who said that, that they said directed that he died and his son came out was like, yeah. You know, that shit was all. Forget that shit was. What was the point in that, though? Like, and, and, and the point to say we went for what? Well, to get money. Points. Like, when he put up the money um, to continue to get funding for. Rockets and space and, and explore, exploration, so to speak. Right, but that's one of the main things. Right, so you're just trying to get the money behind it, not that well, you're actually going to do the job. Well, no, they are doing something with it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, long story short, without getting too deep, um, NASA and other uh, space. Um, oh, fair uh, warning. Right, fair warning. <laughs> what is it? What, what, what is NASA? Is it like a. a is it so I mean, because they do satellites and all that shit too, but um, yeah. National Aeronautics and Space. But other countries got association. Other countries got their form of NASA too. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So all of these other countries, they it's a turret. They no, they work together because um, eventually they're trying to develop the technology eventually, so they can either get to outer space to the heavens. They pretty much long, long story short, they work on behalf of of Satan, so to speak. They all under the direction of Satan, so they can actually get out of this realm and get back to the heavens to 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 fin finish their fight in heaven, because Satan cannot get out of here. That's what. Mm. That's what it's really all mm. boiling down to. So that's they, what the you human could, people are doing. Yes, that's what they all. Because technically, this is Satan's playground. This is if his, you just if you look he, at it from that eye. This is his. Look this at what's going on. This is, he's the god of this world, so to speak. Right. So you're saying, so, so you're saying they're, they're those so people. This is, this is a NASA website. They discovered in 20, 2012 hidden portals in the Earth's magnetic field. So if we could watch this video, it's, it's like a four minute video. Uh -huh. They'll tell you they've observed portals in space opening and closing. How? 
what they and they have this program is called um, uh, MMS. It's called Magnetic Spheric Multi Scale Mission. Uh -huh. That mission is to try to figure out how they could get through those portals. Okay. So they could get out of this atmosphere. Okay. But they haven't figured that shit out yet. That's part of what NASA is doing, amongst other things. Uh, then you got a space station. Um, where but is that because Earth is just like it's just, just, it's just just part of the next thing, like you know, just exploring, or is it is there a reason it's you're trying to get out? They're trying to get out because Satan cannot get out of here. Period. He's trapped. So when God created so the NASA Earth, NASA is going to get Satan out of here. NASA and all the other space people there—that's what they've been yeah, working to do. It's kind of like the Tower of Babel in the Bible, uh -huh. how he had all these people working for him to get back to heaven. Okay. It's just—it's the same thing going on now. They're just using man-made technology with NASA and all that to do so, um. and that's why they got a space force too. So they got a space force now, so that. Now we have aliens that might try to come and fight us. So we need to be able to fight against these invading species that is coming to Earth. Yeah, that's too deep for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's too deep. I don't uh, Let I me don't ask you it. this then. Mm -hmm. You do know there's a space force, right? No. Oh, you didn't know no. that? Oh, yeah. No, I didn't know there was There's government force. funding for... Oh, for to weaponize space. Yeah, I knew that. No, there's an actual agency that's... Space Force. Uh, okay. Is it called? No, yeah, that's the main called, man. Space, Space Force X. It was a movie. Hit? No, I'm show. talking about um, dude that made Tesla. That's his little joint. Yeah, Space X is his. Space X. Space Force is the Space Force is the government federal backed government. federal okay. situation. Okay. What do you think that's for if you already have NASA? I have no clue. Uh -huh. I mean, but it, in in retrospect, thinking about how people try to get money out of situations. Oh, this you just said we're going to flip some money you just, over here. Yeah, you just create things and say this needed. Mm. If you can show justification for anything, they'll give you money for Space it for Force. the most part, That's especially if you know the right people. Right. Space Force so, is a real thing, though. Like, they, they, they really, we are challenged every day to find new heights, working within the space domain. Our people launch rockets, keep satellites safe. And so they, they up there to defend the Earth. And, uh, so and, and, and defend it from aliens. And your DOD agencies are uh, tied to this as well, right? Because if, okay, and that and that, that goes into the to the like I don't I don't feel like going through all this right now. It's a lot. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot. Like that's why we vaccinate. We probably gonna be in the space force too. Long story short, we probably we we probably gonna end up fighting that good fight. You know. Yeah, long story short, <laughs> it's, your, it's your wild man. It's 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 it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. mind it's mind boggling. Sound like and it's ten foilish. Oh, it's a it's a it's deep hole. Like it's a, a deep hole. hole. Don't get like no deeper. Hole. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a rabbit. It's, it's one of them rabbit holes, yo. You remember how uh, like Bugs Bunny eyes start turning to a swirl, or whatever the case may be. Oh, the, do, 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 do. Yeah. the Twilight Zone yeah. joint. It's just some real shit like that. Hey, but what's up with what's What's the deal with Jeff Bezos? Cause he about to he he about to give up his uh, position at Amazon. He already did. He did. That yeah. happened this this month, right? Yeah. And now he about to go to space, right? Mm -hmm. What is the deal here? Like, what's he? It seemed like he ain't coming back. The Bible talked about it. They set their nest in the stars, man. That's what they do, man. So you think he about to set up shop, man? They destroying this planet, man. And they know that, you know, shit's about to pop off here, man. So they trying to get the, they even going to go in the rocks, in the caves or whatever. Or go or they up. they going to go up in the sky. So they but what, he about to, to just have a spaceship that he living on? Shit, I don't know. Because they can't get out the atmosphere. I don't know what the hell you going to do. I mean, that's what I've been trying to keep. Be, and and it could like, be all, man, what is he doing? What's he got going on? It could be all on? bullshit. It could just be a fucking article. With that. I just feel like sometimes when you got a lot of money, you can just explore shit you've never done before. And when you, this like, it's like, this is a bad analogy, but this is like a lot of people with their, like their sex and stuff like that. A lot of times you can tell when people have like too much sex, like Trey oh, Songz. sex. I thought you said sex. No, sex. Shit. Like Trey yeah. Songz. He ends up like spitting on people and peeing on people and just doing uh, extra just shit. just too far. Because they just, they, they've gotten to a point. And there's now no they limit. just want to do extra. There's you know no what I'm limit. saying? And I feel like a lot of times people like Jeff Bezos and other people, they got the, their, their financial cap is 
unlimited. But it's not just so just, then. So then they're able to just do shit. Like why not? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy a boat and blow it up. You know, it just sounds like shit like that. That's what it sounds like to me. When when people try to be that extravagant, because they just because you know what I can. Well, what you got? You and gotta, why not? What you got to remember is everybody tap into some type of power source. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you know you don't comprehend what somebody doing because you don't technically you, tap into you that. Tapped into what they doing is that you ain't tapped into what they tapped into. So your appetite for getting spit on. Or, or spitting, spitting on your husband. It ain't there. Ain't there. You know what I'm saying? Or some of the other weird shit that we don't know about. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Drinking so baby's blood and all I mean, that. It's just a whole thing right. shit that, you know, so And you're saying all that's just based on what you tap into? That's all tap you drive you're driven by something at the end of the day. Or what or what whatever right. and, you, and, and possesses and, you. Right. Possess, and exactly. like you guys have always said or we've yeah. always talked about before, money doesn't change who you are, it just Accelerates it more. Well, it gives you yeah. unlimited access and to it. Sometimes you got to. Sometimes it does change you. Yeah, but sometimes you got not gotta, necessarily change. It just kind of shows it more in public, or it takes away your inhibitions to be like, I don't give but, a fuck what nobody say. I'm gonna do it a, anyway. That's a change. But, but we talking about Jeff Bezos, right? You go from inhibitions to not having inhibitions. We talking about Jeff Bezos. Probably it was always there. He was gonna do it. Probably the most powerful man, so to speak, in the world right now, right? One sure. of the. Yeah, one of the you know like whatever he wants Zuckerberg, all of them, just like that. Yeah, just Mm -hmm. like that because of his money. Well, what do you got to do to get that type of money? You have to tap into some type of force. You have to do some type of ritual. You have to do something to get to that lane. Wait a minute, become an Elon Musk, a Bill Gates, one of them, a Barack Obama, a Steve Jobs, Bill Gates. You got to do what? You got to do something that we don't know about. We don't tap into. They doing something out here that we ain't doing. Oh. And it ain't got nothing to do with just, oh, he working hard. Right. Or he, and well, you well know Bill Gates should tell you, when he, uh, not Bill Gates, I'm sorry, uh, Steve Jobs. How you know Steve that? Jobs actually went. I don't know. That's what I think. No, I'm going to tell you what happened with Steve Jobs. Uh-huh. Steve Jobs would tell you, well, he's not going to tell you that because he did. But he has said that his LSD usage. Mm-hmm. Is a key factor into why he is the person he was and what he was able to accomplish. A lot of so rappers will tell you the same thing. Well, so but you got to understand what drugs do. It opens up portals and gateways for people to connect to spirits that will open their eyes to certain things. Where it might give you a formula, it might give you an idea, or it might help you figure out. So what anybody you're can do it, right? Yes, sure. Anybody can do it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. So Nobody said it. anybody can do it. You know, only people that have done it and been successful at it? Yes. Well, if you want to call that success. Right. Or they've call been to make money at it. To make so they have a name and they're well, notable and all that. Like, you actually know about them. Because I'm pretty sure there's some homeless people who've done the same shit, but they've ended up on a cardboard box sleeping under a bridge. That's true. Touche. Now, that is true. So that's, that's what I'm saying, point. like, they're yeah, but, 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 but some people in the world, world, right? But, 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 but what is their life, though? Still. They're uh, still, they're, even, you can have all the money in the world, that <coughs> don't mean your life is, 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 is purposeful. And you're doing what you intended to do when God created you, at the end of the day. That, that, that very, very wealthy person... It's still a shitty human being. That's what they're saying. Money isn't everything. Money, yeah, from. that's what they're saying. Money isn't everything. You can I have mean, all yeah, the money. You that's what happens. You're unhappy. But that's the but that's but the whole point of them every, doing it. They didn't do it for a purpose. They did it for they were trying. No, to a lot of times they do it because they they try they trying to figure out their purpose because they they think oh man if I can if I can find a means then I won't have to do this other stuff that's keeping or me from a lot of them do it for release. Or to get escape uh, reality as well. So I mean, everybody use drugs and everybody do things like Alistair Crowley. He was one of the uh, Alex Alistair Crowley. He was a uh, high level, thirty three degree Mason. Okay. Who is a known Satanist? Like he was like he worshipped Satan. He performed Um. sex magic, and it was a lot of times it was homosexual uh, sex. It was sodomy to summon demons. Like people actually want to summon demons to gain power and success. So he gained but, power and success while he. But did the that? average homosexual person might not be doing it for that reason. 
You but understand I'm saying, what I'm saying? But so but the people saying that you're, he did that to do what? He no. did it to have a connection with Satan or have a connection with demons. She's saying, "What's what, what? Why?" But why though? Like he because he just what felt, was the purpose behind that? So what did he get out of that? He, he got power out. He was one of the highest ranked you know masons in the world. I'm sure he had money too. You know he had the, the oh the so by to, him. Okay, let me get this straight because I'm I don't want to get lost. By him ha- having lost. sex with lost, with but... uh, boys, the, the people found him he, he so. Had sex with women too. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, yeah. performing sex acts. Period. He became so people found him so powerful that they made him the most powerful mason. That's what happened, or am I misinterpreting? Okay, I'm misinterpreting. I don't know about his rise to power. It's not about. It's, it's not about his rise. See, you gotta understand, like. I read the Bible because I want to get closer to God. Right. I pray because I want to get closer to God. Okay. Alistair Crowley does these things so he can get closer to his God. Okay. Which is the devil. Which is Satan, Lucifer, whatever the case may be. Uh Uh-huh. Lucifer offers anybody who wants power or they might not even want power. They might just want to get high that day. Uh-huh. They might just want to have sex that day. They might just want to fulfill whatever desire that they have. Okay. He offers you the des- desires of your heart, no matter how small or no matter how great they are. So the homeless, to your point, the homeless bum that's, that, that likes to get high all the time, uh-huh. he's still getting what he wants out of life. When he gets, getting when somebody's high. Get him, when somebody gives him that $3 so he could go get the 40 ounce versus... Steve Jobs or whoever is tapping into. A, are you saying are are you saying Lucifer is like a representation of like things that are bad for you? Because you Lucifer said your heart's desire. Real, Lucifer is a real being. Lucifer brought Christ up to to a mountain and said, "Listen, I give you anything. I have all these kingdoms, all these nations, or whatever you you can rule <clears> over <throat> them if you bow down to me." He offered that to, to Christ. Right, I know you're saying that from the Bible. I'm saying right now, today. Lucifer is a person who walks around and gives people their heart's Lucifer desire. Lucifer is, is a spirit. Oh, okay. So it's not a, uh, like a being. It's just like um, uh, something that's inside of you that says, you know what? I want to do this bad thing and I'm going to do it. That's a demon. That's a demon. That's a demonic that's spirit. That's called a demonic spirit. Yeah, that's a demonic spirit. Oh, okay. Spirit. I don't think a baby is born with that. Nah. Nah, everybody not born with that. But you just said we everybody had it. No. Nah. Oh, okay. You said that. I think he. You think he agreed with you in that. I don't think he was agreeing with that. That's not in everybody. Yeah. You have to get that. You have to. Sometimes it gets. So where you get it from? Most times it's a your environment. Of, no. What happens when your baby is born now? Or you gets indoctrinated into something? No. What happens when they be like, all right, this is all the Hand shots. It off. This, this is all the Hand shots. You That's what I meant by indoctrinated into yeah. something. So you baby gonna come with us. The same you way you that baby the, up with the, the same way the liquor you say you you know how they when you when you go to a liquor store they say spirits wine yeah, yeah. spirits mm-hmm. spirits come in in the form of liquid oh okay you're getting liquid injected into you all the time oh okay you saying that's song. what and so you saying that's, that's what makes people that that's a part of it and that's what gives Jeff Bezos the ability to be what he is Jeff Bezos probably come from a line of people that was already going to get to that point but so it was it was like his heritage at that point. A lot of times, same way same way God has His own people, Satan has His own people too. More than likely, He does come from a prominent background. So just prominent like, people, like so Gates. prominent people are the only people. There's no good. Well, pro- if you're if you're prominent in what you call them, they're all Satan's minions. Look at what they're prominent in. What are they prominent in? If you look at the evil of the world, the people that's ruling over everybody. You think the people that's ruling over everybody are good, are good or evil? I don't know. I, I've we'll never well, we don't need to go any further. <laughs> okay. We don't I need to go know. any further. So, <laughs> I think we went down that rabbit hole, we y'all. We really did. How did we get here? We really did. Because <laughs> I am drained emotionally right now. I see talking about this. I don't get it. I hate being lost and not understanding stuff. And this was one of them things I got lost in. Hey, let me I'm ask sorry. y'all something. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't know let me I'm ask going. y'all something. Let's say, uh, let's say, you got an appointment for something, right? Okay. Let's say you got an appointment. You you're meeting somebody for an appointment. To I don't know. You're going to get another house or something, and 
they you meeting a the realtor there. Say they're gonna show you the house, right? Let's say the appointment is at twelve o'clock. It's eleven fifty five, eleven fifty. You know, I'm gonna be. I got another fifteen minutes before I'm there. So you're not gonna be there earlier than five after twelve. Right. You call and be like, "Hey, man, I'm running a little late." I probably I probably be there in another fifteen minutes, right? The realtor asks you, "Why are you late? Do you feel like that's inappropriate or disrespectful?" For five minutes, yeah. No, the fact that the realtor asks, no, "Why are you they late?" They ask you for five minutes. Like, if you if you technically gonna be five minutes late, and they and they pressure you over that, yeah, I think that's that's a little assholeish, in my opinion. This is just a strictly professional relationship. You don't know this person. You don't know this person. Personally. Oh, I don't know this person. You don't know this person. And oh, you yeah. call. You called and was like, hey, I'm running late. Let's say you're going to be 15 minutes late. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? And it's, like I said, the appointment was at 12. You're not going to get there till 12, 15. You call and you like, it's 11, 55. you like, I ain't going to be there for another 20 minutes, man. I'm my bad. But I'm coming. And he like, oh, man. Okay. And you like, yeah, man. I ran into some traffic. Woo, woo, woo. He like, oh, okay. why are you late, though? Or you ain't even say you ran into traffic. He just asked, "Why you? Why? Why you?" They late? don't know you. Yeah, that's not cool. Well, that's unprofessional. I yeah, feel that's like. unprofessional. Yeah, because I would never fix my mouth to say that to a person um, that you don't a know. customer. Yeah, I would never say that. I would be my like, you know, respect what they the information they give me and tell them what I'm planning to do next. Yes, I can wait. No, I can't. I'm sorry you missed our window. Right. Or you know, because you're getting here at twelve fifteen instead of our normal schedule twelve o'clock. You only got 15 minutes to view the house because right. I have another appointment another at 1245, uh-huh. something like that. But other than asking them their, into their personal business, business yeah, 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 I think that's unprofessional. Yeah. Well, you are unprofessional for being late. This is the argument that I saw go down. I saw some people arguing about this and I was like, man, I got to get y'all a piss opinion. So the argument was that the realtor... What about his time, his or her time? Right. That's why you call them. That's, that's why you call. No, that's why you called them. They say you should be on time. You should be. Right, but, but life happens, and exactly. yeah, I mean. Okay, so he want to know what happened in life. That's nah, none of his business. Yeah. We don't know each other like that. Like you, <laughs> like me, I might offer that, but without telling them. Right, like, right. Also courtesy, like yeah, oh, hey, man, a I pick up my daughter. Yeah, yeah some, 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 yeah, yeah, some you know people what offer that. But if a motherfucker would be like, you'd be like, yeah, I'm running late. Why you not? Tell me why. Yeah, you could be like, uh, 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 because I am. Yeah, because I, yeah. I, I felt the same way. I would never. I just ask was like, well, maybe why. I'm looking at this wrong because nah, you ain't looking at some it other wrong. people was up at your but You know, about. you you would imagine I, I well, I would imagine that depending on the person is their privilege feels like that entitles them to so much more information than they get. Some some people are like that. You know what I'm saying? Like some I I, I, like I do know people who feel as if they're entitled to more information into your life than they deserve right just because they're who they're it's arrogance it's um you got an example not a real life i'm just saying like what would make what what would somebody have going on a title or whatever that would make them feel like you know i i I deserve to know you know like if somebody was um very uh into their business and they felt like it's a uh it is a pleasure for you to get me as a realtor Oh, um, you know I'm what I'm sorry, saying? I'm like, like yeah, like I'm, after. I am, I am like, Muffy of Biff. Really, I'm doing this is because I know your mother, right? I hate to say it, but they're gonna get the same answer, right? I know. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, the person that's not sought after. I could see somebody doing that type of thing off of the, you know, this is, you know, I, I see, am. I don't see. I personally don't see nobody asking why. Me, like, I've never been asked why. Yeah, me neither. You know, I've, I've, work. I've often volunteered information just to be kind of, you know, right. friendly, right. you know. Right. But I've never, I don't think I've ever been asked why. But even on the other side, I'm thinking, would I ever ask why? And I would, I would not. My, I would fuck with my friends like, oh. oh yeah. But then you, I'm talking you about, if you don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You that whole way. I don't think I ever asked somebody But if you know that either. person, like, that's different. That's the different type of yeah, relationship. Man, I don't know that bad I'm going to be like, man, why you like dog? Yeah. Nah. nah I would I'm, That's unprofessional. I just I mean, think it's just I think I think it's you just an a hole when you do yeah, stuff like you that. You really are a hole, yo. Even, even if you're not, prof- even if it's not, I mean, I guess it would be a professional thing if you don't know the person. Now you could be now my way of if if I was uh, pissed off by it, 
I would do what she said. Like, look, man, you know, you cutting into your time. Even if I ain't have another appointment. Yeah, I would, now I would be yeah, petty. Like, I, would be like, petty. I got something after you, and you, uh, you, know you, running, you, you cut your all, time yeah, short. You cut into your, your, yeah. your time, man. We're going to have to zoom through this uh, this viewing. Yeah, you know because you. A little early then, because yeah. oh, we're going to keep the same time that yeah, we have. Yeah, we don't have, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we're going to have to roll at 1230, 30, so, so when you get here, we got to do what we got to do. Yeah. yeah, pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. If I ain't like the person. <laughs> or if I just ain't had the time. Or, yeah, if I ain't had the time, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. But if, if this, if I see if it's a habitual thing where every time oh. I see, I'm gonna be like, all right, man. You may not. Oh, be I'm, gonna ask I'm gonna be like, no, I ain't gonna. Hey, I'm gonna be like, oh man, this you know, somebody happening. else coming right after this, so we yeah, we gotta get at him. Good dad. <laughs> Good dad. COVID. <laughs> You know, we can't have more than one people, you know, more than one uh, client That's at the same insane. time. Right. Man, these people was arguing down like, that person deserves to know because you're late. Was That's this person insane. a boss, though? No. Because Can I ask I, the ethnicity of the person who felt like they needed the information? Because I feel like these were, people, t-shirt these were all people that were kissed by the sun. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I am surprised. Yes. Oh, wow. hmm. Yes. I was, too. I was like... What's happening here? Was it women? No. These were men. Oh, shit. They were raised by. <laughs> what were they raised by? <laughs> He's trying to get the backstory. I'm trying to figure this out, man. I don't I know. Think men, yeah. I know one of them. No, yeah, they both. Both of them had men and women in their life. Father you know, and some people you care know. too much about what other people got going on, too. Like, you, you inserting yourself into something that truly has nothing to do with you. The why truly doesn't matter. What you're going to do? Help? Go fix his boy needs to be picked. You gonna go pick her up? Like you, some people yeah. are just overly. Yeah, what the oh. fuck are you gonna do about yeah. it? Yeah. So why what does, does it matter? Why? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I didn't get that. I didn't get that vibe from that. Oh, okay. Dude was asking in a way where it was like, like, why? Like a child, explain yourself to me. Like is it like a parent child situation? Was like, like oh, no, you gonna explain yourself to me as like to why? Like, justify this, right? Yeah, like parent child. Yeah, that I. Um, that's an asshole right there. That's what I. That's what I talked <laughs> about. Right I was like, you just a little a hole. Yeah. And, and and from there, I'm like, oh, now nah, I definitely don't. You don't deserve the respect that you would normally get now. Yeah. Since you want to do that, I'd be like, because I have a life and things happen in life. Now, are we gonna continue with this? Or I don't not? know. Because I, I can turn around and go back where I was. I would be pretty mad if somebody asked me why too. I'd be like, hey, what do you mean why? I'd be mad if my manager asked me why. <laughs> No, I felt the same way. Don't ask me why. I mean, right. why? I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find something else. Just like you'll find somebody else for this. Yeah. What like, do you mean, come why? on, why? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I probably would be. That's not even etiquette. That's not. That's just rude. That's actually rude. It is. That's unprofessional. I feel like, I feel like, it like is that's too. enough to lose business off of. Like I, I, I would be like. Okay, so if that is your boss per se, right, or your supervisor, or whatever. Do they have the right to ask you why? Because they have to know, right? In certain situations. Well, if, no. I guess if They're it's not supposed to document why. If it's no. a habitual thing, um, yes. they might be um, like, all right, now. This is your 30th time being late in this whole time. <laughs> this whole and time you know month. what? I take that back. Because I used to be a supervisor. And at, at the end of the day, I really didn't need to know the why. The fact is, my thing is, you're supposed to be here at 7. And you're yeah. not. And the point is, you're not. So I can write you off, well, what, what, write you up off of that. Well, the why you, doesn't matter. Are you that type of person that if I'm, you see somebody, you seem like you are. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that being late for me is to not getting your work done. I don't care what you work. Okay. You know, you can work whatever schedule you want, but don't have me looking for you for assignments. Since okay. That's the only thing that bothers uh, me. I don't think that's fair. Get your job yeah, done. I don't really, uh, I don't care how job. long you work. Yeah, that, Just get your job, get your job done. done. I don't want to be chasing no adults and, and down. Don't and don't, don't get me in trouble with whatever the fuck you don't. Yes. Yeah. Don't make don't, don't do make the block hot. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you got going on, that's fine. Just right. manage it. Right. Yeah, I don't care about nobody being late and all that. Right. I don't really care. That's your business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. Honestly. I don't, I don't like managers that, that care about you being late. It's just you looking for something. Yeah, no. I don't, do. I don't really care about that. You looking for something to do. You know? And if you're really doing your job as a manager, a none of that should be my, like none of that should matter. Like you you're just trying to get the work done. Like just let's focus that's on your, that. That's what that's being productive. Yeah, just trying to get that. Don't nobody have time for the other stuff. Well, at least I didn't. 
I didn't have time for the other stuff. Some people do, though. Some people do. They, probably, they, people no, they don't do have that. time. They make time they for make it. Time. Yeah. They definitely yeah. make time for it. They be out that thing like, all right, so this time. you like, this time? It's the first time. Well, all right. So, <laughs> you like this. Yeah, I'll smack you. <laughs> you stop <laughs> playing. Yeah, I don't have time. In my head. I don't say that to nobody, but that's what I be thinking. When people do stuff like that, I be like, I want to choose. Why, 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 why I seem like a person like that? I seem anal. You made a look when he asked you. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh man, she a little special. Oh, okay, I didn't think she was no, that kind of like that. No, I don't care. I honestly do not care. It's just uh, the way the way I yeah, like did, my yeah, body language. Like, 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 you did like you a, communicated something to me or whatever. Just like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. motherfucker late all the time. I'm gonna say something. No, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was, I was the person about. that was late all the time. To be honest with you, or you know, what I'm saying because life happens, and you know, I got kids. And I'm whatnot. not a morning motherfucker, man, at all. So I can make I it to a night job on time on a regular basis, but not morning. With joint. The morning joint, especially if it's early in the morning. Nope, no hat. Uh. I feel like the this eight hour days is, is too long anyway. I really do. Yeah. I feel like you ain't you ain't most your it's, typical person well, is expect, only working four hours in a day. Well, especially if five that, days a week. Like yes. I could see maybe two or three eight hour days. You I know what I'm saying? Right. But I not five days a week. Days. And look who came up with these motherfucking rules, man. <laughs> goddamn, <laughs> damn good, good goddamn devil. <laughs> <laughs> I work most of our goddamn You know, lives. we're like one of the only countries like that because other countries be different. They don't have. They get naps. It's a good nap. France get naps. Naps are restorative. Some countries, you can you they get, get two hour, four breaks. hour window yeah. to go home and eat lunch with their family and then come back to work. The whole area is like that. Yeah. That's restorative. That's French. That's oh, that's France do that? Yeah. Oh, I was, this is like a country in Africa. Oh, no. When I was in France. Oh, I think they get like a time. two or three hour. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can take a nap. They get a two or three hour lunch. Naps are restorative. They are. Nah, this joint it was like ten o'clock. Like you go to work at six, right? Ten o'clock. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Six o'clock. Don't. Ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but look though, you get the nap. You get you the leave. nap though. You get the nap. Ten a.m. You get to leave, and then you gotta come back at two. Finish out the I day. I want to get there at ten. That's what I'm. <laughs> You was like, oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Can't move there. I'm just struggling to get to work at 10 now. Nigga. That's awful. But I do be up though. I ain't gonna lie. I be up. But yeah, I feel you. I'm a night owl. So. I ain't even a night owl no more. No, he not a night owl at all. I'm in that bed. You hear me? My motherfucking mind be racing at night. So, like, what what time time do you get the best work done? What time do you go to bed, average? I be in the bed around. 10, 30, 11. But that's not bad. Oh, that's pretty good. No, but I don't mean go sleep. to bed. I go to sleep around 1. Damn. What do you do? Stay on the phone. You be on I your be phone. Thinking on my phone. I be all <laughs> You got to put the phone You be like, all right, now we go get to work. Hey, you <laughs> should be calculating everything. <laughs> I be like, ding. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You should have seen That's me. That's what I was trying to remember earlier. Really? You should have seen me in uh, Louisiana, yo. Karen was knocked out, man. I, I fell asleep. And I woke up with a uh, stopped up nose, and um, I was like, and it was hot as hell in that joint. I'm talking about like it felt like summertime. They had no air conditioning. No, they did. Oh, okay. But I don't know what happens in the nighttime. Okay. Like I ain't cut it off, but it it cuts off on its own. Oh, it just got dog. The joint was here's the bed. The air conditioner was at the top of the uh, arc. Oh, uh, so it was like so that shit. As soon as the, so, I, I'm, I woke up sweat. I, I was hot. My uh, pillow, my pillow was wet and everything. Oh, no. So you know, I took off my shirt and everything. I'm up in that joint, like, and then the air kicked on. <laughs> my nose stopped up. So I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh my goodness, finally. But I can't sleep, uh, so I'm up this whole entire time, air blowing on in my throat because oh, my mouth is open. open. Oh. I ain't even think about taking the allergy medicine. Or Dang. I just, so, but I'm thinking, and I'm I don't think I go to sleep for another two or three hours. Just and thinking. I got to wake up, yeah. And I got to wake up at seven something because we got a uh, a massage that we had a couple oh. of massages. Uh-huh. So of course I finally fall asleep around three or four o'clock, or whatever. Wake up at eight. Uh-huh. But that's all I need. I don't, I don't need that much sleep anyway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I still was real fresh, but my damn throat was fucked up. Mm. Because of that. Because of that. Yeah, and yeah. then my nose was still stopped up. 
And then I'm getting a massage on the table, and you got to have all, all you got to have. Oh the my whole. God, man! The damn snack or whatever. Oh. It was just. I'm getting massage. I can't blow my nose doing the massage. Yeah, yeah. So, you trying to? So you didn't even enjoy it. You didn't even enjoy it. Oh, okay, and before that, and that I, we was talking about sleeping, but before that, <laughs> we went to uh, you know the little uh, nail salon and you know pe- pedicure, pedicure, everything. I thought the shit was amazing mm-hmm. sitting in the pedicure chair and getting the massage on my oh, on the back. back. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Later on that night, I, I mean, I'm, I'm up in the massage joint looking at massage chairs and shit like. Oh, you like yeah, this I'm is like, great. Well, I'm I'm I want to experience this. Yeah, more often. I might have to put one of these mm-hmm. in the crib. Right. Whatever. Man, Kiara was like, we was we sitting on the couch watching TV because we had like a little living room type of little, uh, okay. situation in our hotel. Sweet uh-huh. situation. Sweet, yeah, it was like a little sweet. So she like. Uh, check my back to see if it's bruised. Oh, so I'm like, I don't see no bruise, and I just touched. So she's like, Yeah, right there. <laughs> I was like, right. She was like, How do you want to touch there? I was like, I don't know. I just was just, right. I don't know. I just, she's like, yeah, it hurts terribly. And then I was like, Oh, dang, something wrong with you. But you ain't got no bruises. So then I was, I, I don't know. I think I had to scratch my back. I'm like, Oh shit. I know on you. My shit hurt you. <laughs> yeah, that's what that shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, that motherfucking chair was like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, the whole fucking thing. And the one that was going on, 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 the one that but you know that's what happens in them. Like if you don't get it on the like when you go get a massage, I don't know about everybody else, but I don't get them as often as you sh- actually should. So when I go, I'm sore afterwards. Dog, like it's like my back is. Imagine sore. getting an actual massage and you're already sore. Oh, so you was like, ah, uh, <laughs> you know, stop. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's the most. Ah, it hurts so good. <laughs> That shit was terrible, dog. Damn, and you got the snack going got on. Got the snack. Yo, as soon as she left uh, the room, I took the little tissue that they used to protect the little table. Oh, oh, I was like, damn. He was like, yes. I was like, I can breathe now. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. But that yeah, yeah, that damn massage chair was just jabbing the shit out of us the whole time. But I think you got to do it more than more often. Ah, uh, that chair. <laughs> That shit like Mike Tyson punch out. <laughs> that whole shit right there. That joke like knock out uh, things or whatever fuck. It yeah. feel good when it's happening. It felt good. That's what I'm saying. You just got to get it up more often. And then, man, I was like, damn, my you back know. was sore for like three days. It be, yeah, yeah, that's how it be. That's how them joints be. That same like, thing happened to me up in the little, got a wing, got a pedicure, and I was like, oh, I got the little chip. Put that joint on, and I was at that joint. Oh, like, oh it feel good. Yeah. yeah. And them joints get in there because you just yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, boom, you like this. Yeah, okay, shit. <laughs> but then, a couple days later, I was at that joint. I went to, like, scratch my back or something. Up here, though, like, you know, I can't reach that far. Yeah. I was like, God damn, shit got a tender. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why until later. I went, months later, went and got a massage. And so then afterwards. the lady was like, you're going to be sore. Because it was like a deep oh, tissue. You got deep okay, tissue. Okay. She was like, you're going to be sore after this. And we started talking. And she was saying the same thing she's saying. Like, mm. you know, when you don't get massage, she was like, you're supposed to get massages often. Yes. Like, that's supposed to be a part of your, like, routine. physical routine Hygiene. maintenance. Wow. And she yes. was like, when you don't get one, even if you get, like, a regular massage, it's going to hurt days later. But and then I what? thought back, I was like, oh, that damn chair. You know what I'm saying? So, so the chair did a good job. It did. It did what it was, it was supposed, supposed to do. do. You just not used to it. Your just body not is not often. used to it. So, yeah. I mean, because even when I got other deep tissue massages before, I don't ever remember <laughs> you touching like my that back. Shit. Oh. To, to see, because it, it hurt to touch. <laughs> it, it hurt. I, I, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Say, oh, hey, how you doing? All right. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was in that chair, I was like, oh shit. That's how you feel, oh, too. Especially when you hit certain spots. You get up there and make it on you. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'll see what you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you. You be uh, like, I want one of these. And I was like, damn, man, why you don't do this more often? We need to do this more often, you know? Yeah, you do. I think, I don't think, I, I don't think you should, uh, based off that experience, I don't think you should be like, Oh, this is. That's why I was thinking about getting one of my. That's why I said you should still do it because yeah, then this way it'd be more. <laughs> He's like, I ain't messing with that. No, shit. I don't think it's gonna be like that. <laughs> yeah, I, want the, I want the human hands, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wish damn, I could do that. Like that damn once a machine, month. man. That joint was terrible. I think you're supposed to go like every two weeks or something like that. I would like, like to month, go. I would like to go once. It a depends month. on like your lifestyle. Okay. 
Okay. Like so, like athletes and stuff, they they're supposed, they to, go. Go off, they're supposed to go like once yeah. a week. Deshaun Watson, if, if not more than that. Deshaun, Deshaun Watson, <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Oh. But like your average person, I think you're supposed to go like once a week. Wow. Once a week or if once every two weeks, if if you I can. I thought it was like once a month. Nah. Or like, but if you're an athlete, then it's more like it once, a week. once a week. though, for me. You know? Nah, you are supposed it to go. Sense. I think it's the way like that shit. The way that shit feels like that. And what, what y'all think about chiropractors and all that shit? I heard they're great. I've never been to one. So what I hear is that once you start, you, you can't, can't stop. stop. Mm-hmm. And that's the then what happens if you stop? You never gonna feel. It's like kind of like drugs, right? Mm-hmm. When people chase the high, mm-hmm. you are gonna be chasing that feeling. That relief, the alignment that you that, got, yeah, because you you gonna constantly when you're not there, you are gonna get out of line, and so you gonna want that alignment or whatever it is, you gonna want it. I've been watching chiropractic videos too lately. <laughs> they be cracking people back. I've been watching the joint too. And it like, damn, how the hell they? You watch that one dude? He be doing like famous people and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I, that's that's. That's how I stumbled across. He kind of intriguing. I'd be like, damn, how did he know how to do it without killing them niggas? Yeah, yeah, he get to jump with the neck. <coughs> when I was doing my physical therapy, <laughs> they was doing that shit to my neck. She oh, was like, oh, stay still. I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, what should I still move? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was considering it, but I was like, man, I don't want to have to keep going. Yeah, you don't have to, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, what's anybody know about acupuncture or whatever? Nah. I've never had it done. I mean, I used to go to this yoga place in in the same uh, studio. They had the option for you to do. Oh, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scary. They, they just sticking needles in you. Yeah, different needles. Different. It's supposed to trigger different things in you, depending on where they stick the needle. Your face, your ears, your. Mm-hmm. Yep. That shit do look scary to me too, though. Yeah, just them sticking needles. I just think about the nutty professor joint. Oh, and he's like, still hungry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like one or two. Then they like, still hungry? Then they came back. Yeah, like, like twenty. He's <laughs> still hungry. He was like, he came back. His whole, whole body. Was <laughs> <up>. <laughs> the hell was on his whole body. <laughs> he's like, still hungry. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't try Jenny Craig or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah, I remember that joke. God damn. All right, all right man. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah, this, yeah. this one was a doozy here. Uh, yeah. It was. <laughs> we talked about movies a long ass. Oh, well, with actors. actors. I was sitting here trying to think of actors who was. Actors. Who, who actors. was like a, a rap time actor, though. I feel like I missed somebody. I'm going to tell you who I ain't going to. I'll be just disappointed in. I ain't going to lie. Will Smith. The movies he be doing or? He want him to play a, a combination villain. of both. The uh, movies and his job. Like, I don't feel like he getting better now either. Nah. He, he, like, I feel like he just be picking stuff just to, because he don't want to miss an opportunity I now. saw the Atlanta joint. Is that the most recent joint he did? Nah, he get the joint with the twin. With the. Oh, Gemini Man. Gemini did Man. Did you see that? I ain't seen that. You see that joint? Um, it got Clive Owen in it too. Gemini Man was the joint uh, where he was. Um, he was like, there was he was. Oh, I seen that joint. Yeah, younger he, version. He was oh. killing himself or some shit. He was. He, they was fighting each other. Yeah, he was fighting himself. He a, fighting younger himself a younger yeah. version. They became. I saw that movie. Then it became like. Yeah, he was like, oh, you friends, my, you my, my homie, son, my son or whatever. Kinda homie, whatever. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. yeah, you the younger me. But younger me. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that movie. I ain't like that. Uh, yeah, that was a Netflix man. joint, wasn't it? No. Nah, nah, it, it was, a, it was, was, it was supposed thing. to be theatric. Because I saw the whole goddamn movie. Where I see it on? It was it on stream, Amazon? One of them, probably one of them streaming did things. Did that joint come out during the pandemic? It, it did. did. During the quarantine? It did. It did. It must have just came out and streamed. Maybe it was on... It wasn't in it. Oh, you got to deal with Netflix? He, he does? Sure does. Because all his other, his other joint was with Netflix, too, wasn't what it? What other joint? Shit, I don't right. know. Um, uh, that was a while ago, though. It was a minute ago. But what, what, what other? He had, he had something. Was he had a joint on Netflix. I feel like he did. What yeah. yeah. more recent? Oh, I thought he had deals with Facebook or something. He's been he doing did, a lot yeah. of Facebook watch shows and stuff like that, or at least producing them. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. I thought he could be a better actor overall but i think he's a good actor i just think that now he uh he just a one-trick pony he's just been in the game for so long man after you've been in the game for so long you know you do you really work on your craft you do you 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, right? I don't know. If you care about it enough, I so imagine the, the people that study at Cambridge do. Do y'all right. think what's his name is, a, is like a top notch actor? Um, Wesley Snipes is the bomb. That's hey, what I'm Wesley saying. Wesley Snipes is under. Oh my God, he is one actor. of the best. He's probably overall. Man, he might be. Yeah. Job like the LeBron of acting. Like, he can do it all. He really can. He can do comedy. He can do action. Yeah. He can do drama. He's not comedy. Yeah. Hey. Well, one, he, he was. did the. Uh, Coming to America, America. Oh, he was yeah, funny yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he did the gay jump, not he the did, gay, the tranny jump. The jump. trans, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. joint. He did the seen he was cross dresser dress one. one yeah. But he was funny he did in there. White man can't jump joint. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, he did action. that one. He, he, he got, got all blade. Oh yeah. yeah. He could do action. Yeah. Past the fifty seven. He is a jack of all trades. He really is, and he not bad at it. And he does drama too. That's a drama. That's what I'm saying. He does drama too, like serious drama too, like where there's maybe like. Because he did disappearing acts. Oh, and he what, was uh, awesome. Lathan, right? Yes, and he was yeah. awesome in that. He was like the little handyman. Yes, and ended up being like uh, a love I interest. I think people would just be like, he's hey, awesome. Yeah, jungle him. fever too, then. He sure did. He was awesome. He sure did. He is really awesome. Yeah, he's a good actor, man. Yes. I got respect for uh, Wesley Shalop G. Wesley Snipes, man. Yes. You brought, the, you, you brought the Chocolate Brothers back, man. <laughs> he the one who, who, who took the mantle from um, us light skinned brothers, didn't he? And, uh, he was, he helped. Yeah, he, he definitely helped. Who man. was the who was light skin that was winning before him? Like I, I mean, know. like they say in the eighties, light skin brothers was in. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the light skin. I, I ain't get to live in that time. Harry Belafonte. I don't know. Nah, nah, the eighties. You know, it was the uh, what's who? what's the man? Who? He uh, Diddy got his son. Oh, I'm oh. sure. But he wasn't an actor. Cat, no, but I'm but saying all oh, those P type overall people. entertainment. It was about the light skin brothers. Light skin people. Okay. Yeah, you know the actors. And the, it would have been nice to be light skin back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I don't understand. Well, I'm talking about living in that time. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say you're light skin now. I'm talking about living in that time back. Why? Then. What, what would have been nice about it? Yeah, yeah. when I could have benefited you, from. What you would have did? I don't know, but you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was up at the hospital yesterday, and my uh, my dad's wife was like, "Oh man, because he met her in the '80s or whatever." Uh, along with my mother. Uh, you know okay. Happens to be that way sometimes. So uh, he, she was like, "Oh, he was just he was the finest red bone out there." Uh, but just think about it. That was in the '80s. Yeah, that man. was the thing. Mm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, he was the finest red bone. The finest. I was like, dang, I wish I was in the 80s, man. <laughs> Shit, I was just born. I was a baby. They probably look at that little, you gonna be a he fine be something. He Not knowing the baby. He's gonna be something. 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 Uh, Michael Jackson's father. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> I didn't change, change my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change my shit for nothing. That's what you get. That's what you get. I can't believe this. <laughs> That's what you get. And no business changing yeah. again anyway. What what made that change over? What the and the TV the movies? The, I that. think them getting the roles and being yeah. you know seeing them the sex songs and yeah. being sexy you know. Tyson Beckford, yeah. you know, just oh, you know, yeah. there was some, the you yeah. know, it was it was sexy chocolate coming. In. What what? I guess Michael Jordan. How about say what brought about the bald head? Jordan. Michael Jordan. Because there was niggas that didn't have to get a bald head. Yeah. That was yeah. like yeah. because of him. Yeah, that's true. And then what brought about the cornrows? Bone thugs, and then Allen Iverson. Yeah, Allen Iverson. Yeah, Allen yeah, Iverson took the tattoo game all the way to the next level. Yeah, definitely and the braids. And the braids. Yeah, I think Bone Thugs did the cornrows. They, they Snoop kinda, probably oh, did. Snoop, it was Snoop. Yeah. Snoop is a legend. Oh, Snoop is a, another actor too. What has he acted in? Yeah, he been in a lot of stuff. Believe yeah. it or not. Okay. He, he all I think of right of now is Baby Boy. That's the only thing I can think of. He did a good job in Baby Boy, though. All things considered, yeah. All things considered, everybody in Baby Boy did a good job. Except for Tyreek. Cuba Gooden Jr. brother to me. Oh, don't be that nah, way. I like him. Them, he ain't do bad, but it was just like. But he ain't no tough guy. Yes, that's what I mean. Uh, but he was supposed to play a tough guy. He did okay. But he didn't do bad. Yeah, he did a pretty good job at being a tough guy. He's but everybody right. else did a it's better job at being a role. He was too at the same it time. Was. So it that's was. what he was supposed to be. But he wasn't supposed to be playing. He was a chin up, man. 
Oh, oh, you're a tough guy. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you a G. Yeah. You Big It wasn't for me. He spanked the nigga. He spanked the nigga. Big Rain. It wasn't supposed to be funny? I didn't think it was supposed to be I funny. I thought it was. I thought it was supposed to be serious. It wasn't? Okay, never mind. I thought that was supposed to be the butt was the scene. Snoop, some of his stuff was funny, too. He and that joke. Shut up, little nigga. Right. Little 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 son. Son. I was like, <laughs> I kicked his little foot over. I was like, damn. How you gonna kick it? That's like no sex. Yeah, Big Rames was in that joke. Big Rames. He was in that job acting the fool. Yeah, he was. <laughs> was well, that was Tyrese's debut, right? Yeah. Movies. And, and movies. movies. I, I think, think so. Because he was on Hang With Not Hang With the Cougar, but uh, he was on um, some little show with Maya. Oh, no, that was a movie. That was a video. Maya Campbell. Oh, yeah. But he was no, on somebody's show when he was like, singing. But what I'm saying, like... Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola commercial. Coca-Cola commercial. Oh, yeah, that? yeah. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Oh, about. okay. Was she in that joint? No, nah, I don't he think was, so. She was, he was in the Sweet Lady joint. Oh, Sweet Lady. Uh, yeah, you think yeah. about it. Yeah. But he... he well, that I thought he had a debut. Oh, he was acting on... Was he on Mr. Cooper? Hanging on Mr. Cooper? Man, I don't even know. I can't, I don't I can't so. remember who was on that show other than it was, Mr. He Cooper. Was, he was singing on somebody's show. Wasn't uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. brother on that show yeah, too? Mr. Cooper? Yeah. yeah I can't. Was, yeah, that was, was a good man. show to me. It wasn't bad. I, I like that bad. show. Did y'all know he got into an accident? Nah, he, he looked fucked up, up a little bit. Who? Cuba Gooden Mr. Jr.? Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Oh. Mark uh, Curry. Mark Curry. Mark Curry. Yeah. He, got, he got burnt up. I didn't oh, know that. Is he, uh, he still living? Oh, that's why he looked a little old. He looked real old, don't he? Hey, he shouldn't. Act like it too. But he he shouldn't. He shouldn't. He act like he like seventy something. But he not. Yeah. But he not. Oh. He got he, he got burnt up real bad. That's sad. I didn't realize that. I didn't know he was real good friends with Eddie Murphy. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Oh, he was. It's the comedy scene because he was a yeah. stand up comedian. Yeah, yeah, I did know started, that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right, y'all. We done. All right. Yeah, we done. All right. Are we finished? Yeah. Or are we done? We done. Peace. Yeah.